Now let's do another random post dito sa Philippine Civil Service Review for All at ito ay post ni Ma'am Lucille Carpio Singson. So, isa-isahin natin ito kasi there are five simple questions about fraction. Number one, basahin natin. Lisa's science class spend 1.75 hours. 1.75 hours preparing to dissect an earthworm how many hours in simplest fraction form the, did she spend preparing for the dissection in other words ito ay convert lang natin into fraction meron na tayong one ho so one na yan siya Ngayon itong 0 0.75, 0 0.75, okay? Si 0 0.75, kopyahin si 75. Over. Itong point, 1, 2, maglagay ka ng 1. 1, 2, so dalawa ang 0. Therefore, 1 and 75 over 100. Itong 75 over 100, mas simplify pa natin yan by finding the greatest common factor, which is 20. So, 75 divided by 25 and that is 3. 100 divided by 25 and that is 4. So, ang sagot dito sa number 1 ay 1 and 3 fourth. Itong 1 whole, 0.75 means 3 fourth. So, ito na yung sagot, 1 and 3 fourth. Asan dito? Letter D, 1 and 3 fourth. Next, dito tayo sa number 2. Delete muna natin. Tony's house is 3.2 kilometers. But take note, itong 2 na to, merong nakaganyan. So, in other words, repeating decimal ito. Klaro naman yan, no? Yung 2 ay merong ganyan. So, ibig sabihin, hindi lang yan hanggang dyan lang, kundi repeating decimal so kung repeating decimal yan kopyahin muna natin si whole number na 3 isa lang lang isa lang naman ang na-repeat dyan so that is 2 at ang denominator natin ay 9 so ang sagot dito ay 3 and 2 over 9 wait ma'am paanong naging 9 do tayo mag focus sa mismong repeating point 2 Repeating yan siya. So, let point 2 na repeating na yan is equals to x. Tapos, mag-multiply tayo. Wait, lagay natin sa baba ito. Point 2 is equals to x. Repeating na point 2. Now, i-multiply natin ng 10. So, that will be 10x is equals to 2.2 na yung decimal ay repeating pa rin. So, i-minus natin ito. 2.2, yung, yung decimal ay repeating. Minus 0.2 repeating. This is equals to 2 kasi cancelled out na yan. 10 minus 1, kasi ang coefficient sa x na to ay automatic 1 yan. So, 10 minus, 10x minus x, that is 9x. So, ito ay, i-rewrite lang natin, 2 equals 9x. Therefore, x is equals to, since 9 pang multiply sa x, pang divide siya sa 2. So, x is equals to 2 over 9. So, therefore, itong uh, point 2 is equals to 2 over 9. For more details about converting repeating decimals to fractions, please see description below para sa link kasi meron na akong na-upload Dati. So, ito yung sagot. So, sa, ang sagot dito sa number 2 ay letter C. 3 and 2 over 9 kilometers. Again, please see description below para sa iba pang mga examples about conversion of repeating decimals to fraction. Next, number 3. One Canadian dollar is valued at 40.96 of a Philippine peso. What is the equivalent of this value if 
expressed as fraction in lowest term. So this is 40.96. Ito whole number man to. Dito na tayo mag-focus. Kopyahin si 96. Yung denominator natin, maglagay tayo ng 1. Itong decimal, 1, 2. I move natin to the right side. Dalawa lang naman, so dalawa ang 0. So that will be 40 and 90 of, 96 over 100. Pero hindi pa yan ang sagot. Kasi ito ay malist pa natin yan by finding the greatest common factor. At ang greatest common factor nito ay 4. 96 divided by 4 and that is 24. 100 divided by 4 and that is 25. So ang sagot dito ay 40 24 over 25. 40 and 24 over 25. So, letter D. Next, dito tayo sa number 4. If the thickness of a book is 0.8 centimeter, what is its equivalent thickness in the lowest form of fraction? Kopyahin si 8. Maglagay ka ng 1 sa denominator. Ngayon itong decimal, i-move mo to the right side para maging whole number. Isa lang naman yan. So, isa lang ang 0. So, uh, 0.8 is equals to 8 over 10. Ang 8 over 10, malist pa, pa yan natin by finding the greatest common factor. And the greatest common factor is 2. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. So, ang sagot sa number 4 ay 4 over 5. Letter A, 4 over 5. Now, dito tayo sa number 5. Given pairs of rational in the box, which pairs have correct equivalent values? Ang pinakamadali dito, Kung makita mo yung uh, mali. Example, itong uh, point 0.59, may ganyan siya, point 0.59, at merong araw dyan, ibig sabihin, pabalik-balik yan na 59. So, kung pabalik-balik na 59 yan, 59 lang naman, yan ay 59 over 99 yan siya. At hindi ito. So, mali na ang 1. Lahat ng 1, mali na yan. Isa lang naman ang may 1 dyan. Ngayon itong uh, number 2, itong 2 ba? 0. 0.910. So, pariho lang yan kung 0. 0.91. Kopyahin si 91. Okay? Maglagay ka ng 1 sa baba. 1, 2, dalawang 0 ilagay mo. So, this is 91 over 100 at hindi 9 over 10. So, ito, mali na yan. Lahat ng merong 2 dyan ay mali na yan. So, obviously, ang sagot ay letter D. Kahit hindi na natin isolve yung the rest. Pero, tingnan pa rin natin yan para sa tutorial na ito. Point 7 na may ganito, ibig sabihin, pabalik-balik yan na 7. Repeating decimal. So, kung 7, isa lang naman yan. So, 7, ang nasa baba. 9. Kasi isa lang siya na na-repeat. Again, meron tayong uh, na-upload na dati with, with regards to yung pag-convert sa repeating decimal to fraction. Nasa description lang ng video ito. Next. So, tama itong 3. Si number 4 ay 0.13. Kopyahin si 13. Ang nasa baba, maglagay ka ng 1. Tapos, i-move itong decimal to the right in such a way na ma-hold number siya. 1, 2. Dalawa lang naman. So, dalawang 0. 13 over 100. Wala ka na makitang greatest common factor dyan. So, yan na yung sagot. So, ang itong number 4 ay tama. So, therefore, ang sagot dito ay letter D.